Well, after uh, showing some of the portable operations that I do, I thought I'd just give you a quick look round the shack and uh, so some of the projects I've got on the go at the moment. And uh, right now, I've got a 7300 running on 40 metres and that's connected by a Raspberry Pi acting as a server and it's running WF View. Now this uh, program is running as a server mode and uh, what you can see at the moment is the local screen connected to the radio, full control of the radio off that screen. But also I've got uh, another instance set up on a laptop and uh, by setting my router for port forwarding and using the uh, uh, IP4 address I'm able to access this from that laptop wherever I am as long as I've got an internet connection I can connect to my radio provided it's on but you say provided it's on well it's not that difficult really if you notice uh, just there on the screen power on power off and uh, I'll just move the mouse over, click power off, tell it yes, and that's the rig off. Just to prove it, although the screen's on, the rig has actually got up and gone off. So you can see on the uh, remote application, I'm able to turn the rig off. It's okay, so you turn the rig off, so what? Well, in this case, it's running on a Raspberry Pi, which is there, uh, with the connections made through to it. A USB connection from the back of the 7300 into the Raspberry Pi just there. That's the HDMI cable for the uh, television monitor, and that is the power supply into the um, Raspberry Pi. The present operation still going under test. There's an ICOM uh, power supply there that uh, feeds the actual 7300, and uh, I've tapped off that with this uh, small lead into this box here. And in that box is a cheap 5 amp step down book converter set to 5.1 volts and that's now feeding through and round to that cable going into the uh, Raspberry Pi. The plans are the connections there means that it's powering the Raspberry Pi, it's powering the rig. So in theory now if I connect a Wi-Fi plug to this controllable from anywhere I should be able to control the rig and actually shut down the complete station which is exactly what's required for the uh, license conditions for remote operating in the UK. I suppose I should point out, you're probably wondering what that is, it's my dust cover, switch the rig off, pull that down. When I'm operating normally, I'm only doing it for this video. Uh, I remove that, but it just keeps the rig looking nice. It's just a piece of cloth. And of course, my motto, the man that never made a mistake, never made anything. Believe me, we've all made mistakes. I've made quite a few. That's the 43-inch uh, screen uh, Samsung TV running the um, Raspberry Pi software that's the raspberry pi os you can see the icon for wf view to start it up um, the reason for the large tv is uh, i upgraded the uh, family tv to a 55 inch smart television this is an early digital television with no smart aspect so it was spare so i thought why not use it as a monitor in the shack I like to do homebrew projects. This one I completed earlier in the year. 
that's a uh, single band 40 meter rig 12 watts output the case consists of uh, uh, PCB uh, circuit board copper circuit board soldered together uh, to create the case sprayed and uh, lacquered and then a, a Union Jack splash sticker um, it's a single two-line uh, display you notice a bit of glitter um, I got fed up with the usual boring uh, black knobs etc so what that actually is is glitter nail polish and uh, just made some effort to sort of brighten up the rig and that's a WAB sticker on it you turn it round and there's a BNC output for, for uh, RF and a two pin power socket so I've now taken the lid off that uh, homebrew rig you can see the construction method really placed side by side soldered tack soldering I suppose you call it and a couple of uh, uh, strengthening gussets one there and one up above inside there um, the speaker attached there this is the uh, heart of the rig we have the Hendrix Bitex kit that's B-I-T-X Bitex kit um, you can also uh, freehand make it etc I just purchased this kit uh, quite simple kit really to put together uh, but to drive it they use a different method to what I use they use uh, a uh, variable capacitor one of the cheap ones I don't like the idea really so I control the rig that's Arduino Uno sorry Nano Arduino Nano that's an SI5351 uh, clock generator or frequency generator and that's used for uh, IF and VFO and that there is filtering uh, set up for each frequency to keep it clean and neat uh, that's to conversion from 12 volts dropping it down to 5 volts across here back of the display and then the uh, tuning knob which is a click stop um, rotary encoder and the codes in there to do all the encoding and uh, frequency conversion and step rate etc quite a nice rig works quite well when 40 meters is open another project on the go is a full HF uh, multiband transceiver and uh, a glimpse of some of the insides of the rig that's the uh, linear amplifier section to it and uh, various components inside switching network um, local oscillator IF board and uh, on the underside of it is a um, Arduino 8250 and that is uh, doing most of the processing to run it there's a uh, LCD character display rotary encoder keypad entry at the moment the front panel's not made up but you get the gist of what it is Yeah, perhaps notice some of my stuff lying about um, simple cheap SWR meter system for setting up the uh, car antenna it's not the only way I do it Bluetooth speaker for anything that requires sound here I'm messing about with the Arduino and a little 3.5 inch touch uh, TFT screen that's running a temperature sensor just there the HT11 and that's uh, basically a test setup for the other video that I've published about the uh, thermostat um, with the SP8266 but uh, in this case feeding a TFT and uh, uh, it's just a test bed at the moment 
just a quick uh, demo of that uh, test set up for the thermostat that's the uh, TFT uh, display showing the time and uh, the little green square at the top corner there uh, shows that it's getting a correct uh, time sequence uh, it's NTP polling and uh, getting it from the NTP server and uh, providing the time shows the current temperature and humidity 17 degrees 63 percent and the set temperature 17 degrees and at this moment the boiler would be on and uh, Grange Avenue is my location of course real-time clock module over there intended to connect it up but really there's no need um, it was just more experimentation I like to experiment with the Arduino stuff some of the components arrived for the battery charger project so uh, that'll be next for me to fiddle with well thanks very much for watching the video uh, if you like it please like and subscribe as they say and uh, any comments please leave them below